Okay, I wasn't planning on making this video, but I thought that some of you might be interested. So here we are out on the gun range, and we are gonna be shooting my homemade ballistic gel. So this is it. This is my ballistic block, my homemade. I made it 100% by myself in-house. Now my ballistic gel is definitely not perfect. There's spots on it from where I didn't mix the gelatin in well enough to the water. It has a weird shape. Other than that though, it feels good. It feels like ballistic gel. It feels like it'll do good at stopping these bullets. Some major pros and cons to this, to making it yourself. Obviously the first pro is gonna be price. When you start buying the professional stuff, it's like 150 bucks. With that stuff though, you can melt it down and reuse it remold it with this one you can also melt it down and reuse it so the first big thing the major difference is price I spent 50 bucks on this it was $50 worth of gelatin I'm sure there's cheaper ways to get it another really unfortunate thing is how dark this is it looks like I made it out of coca-cola like it is it's super dark and it might be so dark that we won't even be able to see the bullet trail in it I'm really really nervous about that I if we can't see our bullets in it then this thing is pretty much useless I'm nervous anyways with the with the stuff that you buy obviously that is crystal clear and you have no problem seeing your bullets if you're trying to save some money you can definitely make this at your house very easily and I will tell you the recipe right now pretty much all you got to do to make this stuff is you need nine liters of boiling water so you grab nine liters of water throw it on the stovetop boil it once it's boiling then you take two liters of unflavored gelatin I picked mine up at Walmart I'm sure there's cheaper places that you can find it you take your hot water you put in your two liters of unflavored gelatin mix it up as well as you can and then you put it in a container that can hold it and is the right size for the mold that you want and then you throw it in the fridge for 24 hours super super easy to make I mean one other bad thing is it smells like a wet dog and I don't know if you can see all the flies around it they love it so like I said I am a little nervous to shoot it but let's just get to shooting this thing see how well it does see if it holds up and if we can actually see our bullets what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot one of the bullets more off to the side and then the other one more dead center and that way we can see you know if the one that we shoot in the center of the ballistic gel if we are able to see that one I honestly have no idea what's gonna happen just with how dark this thing is so hopefully it works because I I want it to work oh Okay, here we go. Starting off with the 22. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I hope you can see it on camera. You can see my bullet. My 22 went that far. Let's see if it's better on the other side. If we look at it from the top, even better. You can see both bullets. And if we stand it up like that, oh my. Yep, you can totally, totally see those trails and those bullets. That is awesome. Can you see it from this side? It's a little darker from this side. Really, it helps if you just stand it up and point it straight at the sun. Get some light through it but that is that is awesome so I'm actually pretty happy with that the dimensions of this is it's 17 inches long probably about four or five inches high and about seven inches wide it looks like that 22 went about halfway through I don't know <laughs> I don't know what bullet's gonna make it all the way through hopefully the nine mil doesn't go all the way through but let's shoot that one next okay this is the nine millimeter 115 grain full metal jacket I'll do the same thing take two shots and try and separate them a little bit here we go Ooh, not good. Here's where I hit. I hit one right there and one down in there somewhere. Let's flip it up to the sun. So those are obviously the 22. The nine mils were down here and they went all the way through. One came out right there. Not good for the nine millimeter. That's too bad. Dang it. Eee, well, that's not good. That is not good. I was really hoping that it would stop the nine millimeter. I thought that it would for sure stop the nine, but it's not dense enough, apparently. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm gonna do one thing just for fun. I was hoping that we would be able to see a little bit more, a few more bullets stuck inside. Since it can only stop the 22, that's what I'm gonna shoot. I'm just gonna shoot more just for fun. The slow-mo camera fell over, so you probably won't see a slow-mo of that. Let's flip this over. There they are. All of our little 22 bullets. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like I won't be able to use this for like actual tests, which I was hoping that I would be able to do. One thing that I might be able to do to fix it is find a different mold, one that's longer. It's actually a little bit of a bummer that my homemade ballistic gel did not work, but that's okay. I'm sure there's more recipes that I can try, but now that I'm thinking about it, it might actually be cheaper for me to just buy the real thing instead of spending $50 each time I want to try a new recipe. But I did have fun testing it. It was fun making it. And now I know that if I want it to stop higher caliber bullets, it has to be more dense. It's got to be either longer or just a lot more dense. But anyways, I know this video is a little bit different and maybe not as fun than the regular videos, but obviously I've got more coming. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.